Hey, welcome back to Diode Press, I'm Graham. So a few weeks ago, I finished up a large woodcut print commission where I you know, printed a full edition of 25 prints and sent them out. And so if you missed the video going through that print and how I put it together, I'll put a link down in the description box. So one of the things that worried me about that project from the very start was how I was gonna package up the full edition of prints and get them safely across the country in one piece. And so that's what I'm gonna quickly cover in this video. This was my first time shipping off a poster sized print, let alone an edition of 25 of them all together. You know, if they got damaged along the way, I'd really be out of a lot of you know, effort and time you know, that I spent putting all these together. I'm sure there's a lot of different ways to package up prints, you know, rolling them up in a tube in different ways, but I didn't want to have a constant roll in them when they get there. And if the ink was a little bit wet, I didn't want to transfer onto the other prints. But I was also looking for a kind of an economical way to do this. So a big shout out to Brian over at Super Graphic in Durham. I asked him for advice about how he would go about shipping off a stack of prints like this. So in this video, I'm going to go through the steps I took to kind of make up a shipping crate and get them sent off. My first stop was at the hardware store. So I picked up a sheet of four foot by eight foot by half inch thick, high density foam insulation. You want the dense foam, not the softer styrofoam stuff, because it'll make a huge mess when you go to cut it up. The top and the bottom panel of the container should be cut to allow at least two inch strips of foam all the way around the size of your artwork. So once I cut the base, I cut two strips the length of the panel. And this stuff cuts really easily with a sharp blade. Then I did the same thing for the width of the panel. I'm using spray adhesive to glue the sheets together. You can use most types, but the craft bond stuff that I'm using here has a lot less odor than some of the others. And you'll need to make sure whatever you use is safe on foam so it doesn't eat through the foam. I'm also using scrap pieces of newsprint to mask off the areas where I don't want the glue to go. Cause you don't want this to be, you know, tacky on the inside. Next, I can lay in the artwork against the two sides that are glued in place. You wanna make sure you have a tight fit so they don't shift around during shipping. I laid down a sheet of acid-free interleaving paper and then a print. And I did this until the full edition was stacked in here. Oh, and also if you're interested in purchasing one of these prints, I'll have a link down below in the description box. Now to put on the last two rails. I wrapped the prints in a large sheet of interleaving paper and then wrapped it in newsprint before spraying down the glue. Cause you definitely don't want to get glue on your finished artwork. The last two rails were glued down snug against the stack then I could drop on the top and tape it all up. This makes a really safe and rigid package, but it wouldn't protect too well against, you know, being punctured with something small and sharp, which would go right through your prints. So you could add a couple of sheets of hardboard to the outside to be really safe, but I just left it like this and it worked out great. So now this whole stack after it was taped up was then slipped into a large box, kind of like a large envelope. And all said and done, it weighed in at about 10 pounds with the full edition of prints inside, and it cost about $50 to ship, including the foam and the box and all the supplies I needed. And it made it across the country safe. And that's all there was to it. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the videos when they're posted, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help support this channel, you can check out the Diode Press Patreon page where I post behind the scenes photos as well as other patron rewards. Thanks.